JCID new arrival V1SE bus detection adapter has been released. Match with V1SE and JC drawing for use. Locate parts of the faulty points of signal quickly. In the package of V1SE bus detection adapter. There are a V1SE bus detection adapter. For matching with V1SE. And a coaxial line. For connecting the point and the bus adapter. There are also a special sharp dual probe for facilitating the detection. And a one-week JC drawing card. With this card, users can view thousands types of drawing data on JC drawing software. There are also professionals who update data in real time. Installation method of JC drawing. Open JCID official website. Find the download interface. Find JC drawing, including data, complete version. Click download. After downloading, double click to install the software. Please close the antivirus software before installing. Tick I have read and agree. Click one key install. After installing, click start. After enter the JC drawing, click setup. Select English and click confirm. Click register. Enter the email address or phone number. Click Get CAPTCHA. Enter the verification code that you got. Click Submit after setting password. Click Confirm. Click Month slash Year Card Recharge. Users can select to activate by entering the card number and password. Or by scanning the QR code for payment. Find the motherboard drawing that need to be repaired. Find the phone brand. Find the phone model. Select Motherboard Copper. Double click to enter the drawing interface. Find Bus in the lower right corner. The device model is displayed in the upper right corner. Click Select Bus on the upper right corner. Here we can see this model has altogether six buses. Note. Each bus has the possibility to cause signal failure. Before figuring out the faulty points, all the buses need to be checked. Click SDA point, SCL point, version 1.8, to jump to the corresponding point directly. Soldering the coaxial line according to the point. Find a ground wire on the motherboard and solder it. This is the effect after flying the four wires. After that, buckle the coaxial line on the corresponding port of the bus adapter. Connect V1SE to computer with a USB cable first. Then click Connect. The device will be automatically connected. Click Start. The abnormal components will be marked. Click on the abnormal component to jump to its location. Abnormal ones are marked in red, while normal ones are marked in blue. After finding the abnormal components, start working on the maintenance. The V1SE bus detection adapter is packaged with a special sharp dual probe, which can replace the coaxial lines of SDA and SCL points for data detection. The red probe corresponds to SDA, and the black probe corresponds to SCL. There is a button on the probe. Press the button to detect directly. The switch at the interface of the probe on the bus detection adapter is the one for switching between C and RFFE. Toggle left to detect C, and toggle right to detect RFFE. When detecting RFFE with the probe, the switch should be toggled to the RFFE side.